Hey everybody, how are we doing today? I'm bringing you a very special wet and wild all that ails the rounds brewed there, drank that. Um, this is actually like the most enjoyable it's been outside for the past few days. It's just been ridiculously hot. So I figured I'd make use of the rainstorm and get you guys a fresh episode made. Uh, today we are swinging up to uh, one of the best states in the Union, <clears throat> that's Washington State. We're going to check out Diamond Knot Brewing Company. Um, now I have never even heard of these guys, so I was extremely excited when I saw them on the shelf. This, there is a little discrepancy. Um, according to the label, this is their Industrial India Pale Ale. Um, so they have a regular IPA, and then this is their double IPA. They also make a triple IPA, which I haven't seen, and if I do, definitely get it. Um, but on the label, it says it's 7.9% alcohol by volume. Now, on the website, it says it's 8.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, but either way, it reads 80 IBUs. So, you know, we have a range for the alcohol by volume, which is perfectly fine. These guys, as I said, are out of Washington State. They're actually out of Mukilteo. Um, and for those of you in the greater Seattle area, I'm sure you're familiar with Mukilteo. You've probably hung out at the casino once or twice. That has nothing to do with this. This is way more important. Beautiful, deep amber. Nice orange to it, fully filtered. We've got a rocky, off-white head. Seems to be pretty well-structured. Mmm... Mmm, interesting. Got a nice kind of... I'm getting almost like a cascade kind of spice out of it. A little piney, a little resiny. Very nice. Wow. That's really easy drinking for 80 IBUs. Malt character is present. Actually, I really like the malt character. It actually finishes a little sweet, but not sweet in like a brown sugar kind of way. Like there's there's a touch of sweetness there at the end. That's really interesting. Mm. Hop forward. Um, it actually, there's a nice floral spike about two-thirds of the way through the palate. Uh, but that malt, I think, they, they complemented it really well. That's really, really good. That's awesome. Um, and you know what else was great about this was, well, 22s were the only bottle that I saw. Um, it wasn't insanely overpriced at all. I mean, 20, 22-ounce bombers were running like five bucks, give or take, four or five bucks. Um, and that's, I mean, that's a really great, that's a great product at a perfect price point. Um, I mean, you know, some folks actually do have the balls to say, well, 22 ounce bombers, 20 bucks. Like, and it, I mean, kudos to you if you can sell the beer, but I mean, that's one of the focuses of Brew Bear Drink That. You know what I mean? It's not just great beer, and it's not just supporting small business, and it's not just buying American. But it's proof that you don't have to overpay for quality. Um, a lot of stuff that I highlight on here, I go out of my way to be conscious of what price point. You know what I mean? Because I, I can't push anything that I, that I couldn't afford to drink myself. So you're not going to see me on here slinging $110 bottles of like 3 liter, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, all that aside, big ups to Washington. As per usual, we take our beer pretty damn serious. Um, big ups to Diamond Knot Brewing. Um, I I didn't know you guys were even from my home state, and I'm definitely swinging by to say what's up the next time I'm out that way. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I certainly am. I'll see you over our next pint.